Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and today as you can see we have a different view. Uh, I'm uh, actually at my, at my parents so I'm recording this video because I wanted to still provide some content to you guys. Unfortunately today it was a Monday we had no important leaks, nothing apart the new event uh, for the boy that I can't remember the name of but still the one for Santa Valen cards. But Instead, here today, I have finally the version for uh, another version for the Bond Eliminate the Future with the Walkers. As you will see, it's one of the Walkers, and eventually, I think I'll make I will make another one with the other one because it's super nice. Uh, the deck feels pretty good, uh, uh, both going first and second. Of course, I wanna I'm gonna explain uh, I'm gonna explain to you all of the combos and some replays to see the deck in action. But before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So I'm here, of course, with Yusei Fudo and I guess we don't need um, any explanations anymore in terms of uh, regarding the skill, of course. We got uh, Makina Walkers, as you can see, this might be, this may be the first version uh, as I told you before, and we're using Supai. So as I already told you guys, Supai it's a one card combo as long as you can discard another another card in your hand to special summon this guy and Supai from your deck. So it's a no normal summon required synchro level six. We have two choices in our extra deck for this uh, for these Supai combo. We have both status charge warrior that can eventually be a very nice. Um, plus one, because you summon this boy, you get a, a draw, but usually you want to go into Naturia Barkian, especially in the ladder, especially uh, uh, starting from half of the month, a lot of people are going to play tons of back rows, guess what, you summon this boy, and as long as you have cards in your graveyard to banish, you can negate drop cards. It's not once per turn, so you can negate any drop card you want, and you keep on going as long as you can fill the graveyard. And trust me, you can fill the graveyard thanks to this deck. So you're never, you're never gonna have problems in terms of materials to banish. Then for the rest, guys, this is uh, something you already saw on the channel. Makina, Axel Makina Synchron. So we have the Makina stuff, triple fortress, double citadel, and triple redeployment. This makes the deck so good in terms of going second and also, uh, you know, survivability, because keep in mind that the citadel keeps on coming back from the graveyard each time in Hearth Machine Monster gets destroyed. Why this guy It's good to have on the field? Because not only because he's a 3k on attack, but also because it's, he has a Dark Hole effect, a Dark Hole Quick effect, and he can pop all the monsters on the field as long as you can pop itself or another ma machina, uh, another machine monster. And actually all of your only of uh, the, the monsters your opponent controls, so it's not gonna destroy your own. And that's super nice as long as they have uh, attack less to the target you destroy, so super good. Uh, you, this can be used, of course, quick effect, so both during yours and your opponent's turn. Uh, then for the normal summon part, we have a classic combo. You're gonna see in the replays even carrier, but trust me, this is the optimized version. So you basically wanna have mono synchron engrave. You want to revive it with Synchron Explorer and then go into Formula Synchron because Mono Synchron treats the other monster that you use for the Synchro Summon as a level one. So that's why one plus two in this case makes still two. So, uh, and we got Formula Synchron. Of course, you draw a card. This is the enable or the enabler or our, of our Axel Synchro during your opponent's turn. And then you use Synchro Chase to revive the level two, and that's the, the number one combo. So you have basically this in the grave, the Synchro Explorer, and you can achieve Formula Synchron, Synchro Explorer, and the other card you need is Makina Fortress on the field. Two plus two plus seven is 11. Trishula zero during your opponent's turn. From there, you can have more combos. Now, the level six you can summon with the, with the Supai combo, uh, that can be either the Bakion or the Saros Charge Warrior, well, that guy plus the Formula Synchron can give you two results. Can give you 
uh, Crystal Wings in Grudge Dragon or can give you a classic Stardust Dragon. Keep in mind that if you're doing all of this during your opponent's turn, you can do two things. You can... Uh, so, apparently, as you will see in the replays, you can end on the level 6, the Machina Fortress, the Synchron Explorer, and the Formula Synchron. So, during your opponent's turn, you can first Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Synchro Chase gets activated, and you can choose to uh, make Formula Synchron come back, so you can Axel Synchro again, and that in that time, 2 plus 2 plus 7 is Trishula. So, you have Stardust Dragon, and Trishula during your opponent's turn, and that's super cool. We're not done yet, because of course you can decide whatever you feel might, may be the best option. You can even go into just Crystal Wing, because keep in mind, if you go into Crystal Wing, Synchro Chase is, is not gonna get triggered, so you're not, you're not gonna get back the level two. But as you will see from, as you can see from the extra deck, we're also playing Stardust Warrior, because if you, and trust me, it happens. If you have both Monosynchron and Jet Synchron, well, you can achieve basically a Stardust Dragon on the field plus Formula Synchron. That means you can go into your Synchro Summon, uh, into Excel Synchro Summoning the Stardust Charge, the, the Stardust Warrior, and you can get back the Stardust Dragon. Keep in mind, guys, you can also get Stardust Warrior and Trish during your opponent's turn. But these, me, these can happen only if you have a double Machina Fortress. And that's super cool. Uh, the double Machina Fortress does not mean you have to literally have two Machina Fortress. It just means also just one Machina Fortress and a couple of Citadel. Could be that easy. You basically need a couple of summons for your um, uh, fortress. Uh, keep in mind you can summon that from the grave. Because your Sardas Dragon can be done, of course, with the Makina Fortress and the Jet Synchron that comes back from the graveyard. That's super easy. For the rest of the cards, guys, we have the, the, the triple deployment because it's basically access to both these guys. Triple tuning that can get both the Mono Synchron and the Jet Synchron. And then just one last win because I love it. Because you can you can actually increase the, the number of cards up to 225 and play more limited tree. I like Lost Wind because if it gets uh, milled with tuning, you can still get it back with its own effect. Or also if you have to discard it with the effect of Supai, or if you have to discard it with the effect of Jet Synchron, it still gets a use in the grave. Probably if I had more Lost Wind, uh, I think I would have played triple of that. Not gonna lie. Guys, that's it for the explanation. Yes, this extra deck has really everything to deal with everything. So it's super nice. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Of course, stay with us because we're gonna have the replays when I'm gonna showcase uh, all of the combos, basically. Let's jump right into them. Here we go, my boys. First replay. Some of this is gonna be are going to be from uh, the uh, the latest event for Synchro stuff. So uh, for the turbo from the turbo duels, basically. Let's see what we have. It's uh, Raiders Breakable Mind. So we're gonna have, of course, Phantom Knights. To begin with, let's speed things up. Let's see which kind of board we have to face going second. So this guy is gonna have a couple of break sword, unusual play. He has of course the um, he has of course the um, the rank up magic quick quick play spell and the trap card ready. He's got the dark rebellion exist dragon so he can go into he can rank up into requiem and he's done. It's us to go. We have a very good combo. So guys, don't pay attention to the synchro carrier again as the synchro uh, the synchro explorer is just you know better in terms of, we have one combo and that's that one so why synchro explorer is better guys because synchro explorer gets a cut from the grave while with synchron carrier you have a minus one in your hand because you have to normal summon in addition monosynchron that's the, the thing so as you can see we got uh in this case the synchron carrier and but the same combo of course two plus one mean it goes into two again because of the effect of monosynchron synchro chase to take back the level two and monos in the formula synchron to draw a card perfect draw he's got the rank up magic uh launch so he can go into the dark requiem so now we have to be careful because he can uh he has a negation within that plus a pop he popped the spell card that's fine uh we used supai he negated the effect of supai now we're chilling because he's got nothing else in the gate and we got the Makina Fortress from the Grave Summon by discarding the Citadel 
2 plus 2 plus 7 is 9. A Trishula 0 to banish 3. Look at that. We're not done yet getting the uh, the Abonzi Illuminate the future to get these um, two boys on the field. And then a Starless Peel to get another summon. We're gonna summon though a uh, Crystal Wing because 7 plus 1 that can be either the Supai or also Jet Synchron, of course, uh, gives you access to Crystal Wing. And it was a mistake, guys. I should have attacked with Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, pop the monster and then when he pops a monster you get an effect to destroy all defense position at that point I could have I should have negated that why because crystal wing negates this he destroys it and he sucks up the attack so he, he becomes a 6k and we would have had little with that but I didn't do it and in any case uh, we still have crystal wing so we're out, I think in a good spot is going uh, to have he tries to have another monster we negated that but he has no other level rank 3 to go for because we uh, because he used both the break sword and at that point he scooped that's all you're doing my boys there you go here we go guys we were on a full win streak here and uh, I think kind of these uh, some of these duos were also did were, were also made um, during a stream if I'm not wrong so we as you can see we milled the last win with tuning and he's gonna come back as soon as my opponent special summon a monster from the actual deck so synchro chase we got the classic combo synchro explorer getting the mono synchro back synchro summon Formula Synchron is here, uh, with the Synchro Chase getting back the uh, Synchron Explorer. Always do the uh, chain in this order, so make sure to end on Formula Synchron so that your opponents cannot respond, because thanks to Synchro Chase, your opponents cannot respond to uh, Synchro monsters that have Stardust, Warrior, or Synchron monster in their name. So we got a Citadel, uh, even though we wanted the, the Fortress, of course. Then we went Supai straight away, and we decided to go into Status Charge Water because we wanted to draw an extra card. In this case, um, we didn't get the Fortress, unfortunately, but still, we got the uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I decided to end on that, and still, uh, to have a negation ready. Also, why, why did I do that? Because now if he pops the Synchron Explorer, we're gonna get the uh, Citadel back that is in the graveyard as you can see because explorer is a machine and each and it's hard type monster so uh he's got the light twin we negated that with crystal wing so i guess that was a good choice he's got this is one of the uh, hybrid version of live twins and um uh, unchained so it's got still the unchained part with a couple of summons then it's gonna uh, ex uh link summon with our poor boy unfortunately with the unchained soul of rage the last win that comes back we love that and then he's gonna attack but guess what he popped that citadel is coming back and then uh, i decided to make him destroyed I, I i actually decided to make him destroy and to wait because i wanted to um, i actually don't remember why i did Okay, now I remember, because I didn't want him to get stuff uh, out of the deck uh, straight away. So at this point, draw phase, and I went into the um, uh, into destruction. He's got the effect out, and um, now, oh, okay. The point is, I wanted to wait because I wanted to. I wanted. I wanted to have my last win live. So. Because Last Wind was set in that turn, in the previous turn, I cannot activate that straight away. Instead, now that is my turn, draw phase, so he can't chain the effect of Unchained Soul of Rage. Now what happens is that I pop, but if he summons this boy, I can negate it with the Last Wind. That's why I waited my turn. So there you go, I negated that. No destruction, we're showing. It just has a back row right there. So. We got the Synchron Carrier, we got the uh, Mono Synchron. In this case, I was playing double Formula Synchron, but uh, trust me, it's not needed. Um, it, Synchro Chase is coming, also because we have the, the redeployment, as you can see. So we got redeployment now to get Citadel and Fortress. And at this point, we're gonna use the, the, the thing about the, the, the Turbo counters, but we don't need them, the Speed counters. We got Trishula straight away to banish everything. And at this point, we're just gonna have the, the Fortress back on the field again, Go Going for little, we have a lot of plays there. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. 
This was the sixth win in a row. Uh, let's see, it's us to go first. We have basically everything because we can start with tuning, get the mono, uh, use the skill to get the Synchron Explorer. We also have Supai, we have literally everything. We started with the Synchron Explorer to get the mono Synchron back on the field. And of course, to uh, Synchro Summon into Formula Synchron. So of course, draw one plus the level two that comes back on the field. Uh, there you go, closing the chain of course. Uh, we got the Supai Dusk Walker to get the Jet Synchron Engrave to summon the Supai and we went straight away into Naturia Barkion, so no traps allowed. And then we got basically the trap cards, no, no trap cards and Trishula set up ready. Um, he's, uh, he's got the Fleur Monster, he's got the, to begin the Genix Undine. Uh, so this is actually Chris Ron, um the Flares. So he's got the Necro Synchron to change the level at that point, toggle on, not to respond to anything, but as soon as he says, you want to activate this, you say yes, Trishula, zero, banishing tree, lovely. Uh, he's got the Twist Van, he's, he's not done yet actually, because he's gonna have the Sulfin here, uh, then the, he pops itself, he summons a Tuner, and he's, he's actually, he, ends, he, he ended there, because he can Synchro Summon during our turn. So I went up on Eliminate the Future to get the, the two boys. I hoped to get the level 7, but I was unlucky here. So because if I got the level 7, I could, I could have used Jet Synchron and going to start a Dragon, but he went into Power Insection, so anyway, he can't lose there because he takes no battle damage. At this point, I just got the double draw, and I'm attacking, and but I also can't destroy that by battle, so that was super sad. Um, also, we have no monster on the field to trigger the Citadel Engrave. Actually, we don't have the Citadel Engrave, but we couldn't use the redeployment because all of the three Makina Fortress are here. Two in the grave, one in my hand, so I can't use that because I have no target in my deck. That was super sad. He's got still the part of the skill ready. He's got the Crystal Impact, so that would have been useful against uh, for the Barkion. And he actually surrendered. I'm not sure why, though, but look at this. This is just to show you the turn one. As you can see, from there, we had a couple of options. We could have also gone into Status Dragon, get the Formula Synchron back on the field, and then Trishula. So that was super nice. That's how you do, my boys. There you go. Here we go, my boys. We have Shiranui now, and it still has to go first. Let's see what we have. So it's, uh, we started with tuning, usual combo there. We know that, right? So uh, we got the Synchron Explorer. Then we have the draw. We first used Machina Redeployment, of course, to get the two boys. And then, of course, we draw, because we want to draw maybe the Supai. So uh, Formula Synchron to draw a card. Synchro Chase to get back to level two. It was the same thing, of course. And um, let's see what we're gonna draw. We drew the Supai, perfect. At this point, Supai to begin with to get the level six. I went into Naturia Barkion and then um, the Makina Fortress there and we're chilling. So uh, uh, again, guys, as the previous duel, we have two options here. We can also go into Stardust Dragon, make the level two come back, and then still have access to Trishula. So with a double Axel Synchro. He started with the uh, Squire, as you can see, it's got the level seven. At this point, we can, you, he went into the level seven, uh, the, um, uh, the Squire Saga. Uh, at this point, because we knew it was about to destroy, we, went with the first Axel Synchro, Stardust Dragon. Because it's a Stardust, Synchro Chase gets activated, so the level 2 comes back and we still have access to Trishula, so keep in mind that. He went Squire Saga just to pop the, 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 the spell card, that's fine at this point. Uh, he went into the Effect of Spectre's Ward, the Speedy Master to pop a card on the field, but guess what? Stardust Dragon negates. So he's got those two on the field, he sets a card, guess what, before the end of the main phase, Formula Synchron into Trishula Zero, Banishing Tree, all of those boys with the trap card as well. And in the end of the phase, Stardust Dragon comes back, but at this point, you know what happens, right? So we can just use the skill to get the Quasar on the field, and that was an insane turn one, as you can see, with double Axel Synchro. Uh, this boy's just gonna wait till his hand. So with, we have the Quasar, of course, with his negation and its double attack. You can just go for a little. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go.
Here we go, my boys. We have Sato Kaiba. So let's see. Battle Chronicle, one of the class, another one of the classic decks. Uh, so us to go first. We have a pretty good hand. Uh, we have both the boys because we can eventually send the Jet Sync onto Grave with the redeployment. The good thing about this deck is that you, if you need stuff in the Grave, you have tons of stuff to discard. So you're chilling. Uh, usual combo. So to get the draw and basically a total level of four on the field plus the enabler of axel synchro formula synchron and we could draw a card another machina fortress so this is another combo another line so we have the jet synchron sending the fortress to grave fortress to grave special summon itself uh, by discarding a citadel as you can see then synchro summon into stardust dragon and now because we have uh, an another fortress, another citadel, we can have both the boys. So this is the case where you can have basically um, Stardust Warrior and Trishula during your opponent's turn. Because now you can Axel Synchro these two, Stardust Warrior, Synchro Chase gets triggered, Formula Synchro comes back and you have still Trishula to go with. So it's got Battle Chronicle as you can see, it's got the Illusion Magic, uh, the uh, double set before the end of the man phase. First, Stardust Warrior, Synchro Chase gets activated, exactly as I told you before. So the Formula Synchro comes back. You can still use the effect again because it's not a hard bonds per turn. Trishula is here, he, he banished three. He's got the Illusion Magic, but still, we don't care about that. He's gonna have a couple of Dark Magician on in a hand, but that is not gonna make a difference. We banish three anyway, and we had a couple of Eternal Souls. He's got another trap card though, another back row. We are attacking, he's got the Secrets of Dark Magic uh, to go into the Dark Magicians, plus the Dark Illusion, so it was a weird move. And we're attacking, uh, we don't care about the, the two boys, because what he can do, let's see. He's got uh, also now the um, another Dark Magician to get the Successor Soul, and uh, Successor Soul to get rid uh, of the Saras Warrior, but guess what? Saras Warrior's effect activates, we get a Synchro Summon of a Saras Charge, so we even draw a card, plus having an additional body on the field. He's going X into Nixie Summon into Big Guy. So this was actually important to have the, the floating effect of Saras Water, so he, he, he can attack, but actually, uh, I don't know why he didn't attack with the Trishula Zero, honestly, because he can't attack with this, but with that, he could, he could have attacked. So, no, actually, only one attack because of Successor, so yeah, that's right. So, tuning to get the Mana Synchron, actually, to mill the deck, then we got the Makina Fortress, uh, Abundant Limited the Future, Status Dragon is in the graveyard, so we can speed things up, we can go straight away into Quasar, as you can see, we also have a Lost Wind, so we're kind of good spot, attacking both, and it's got the circle, to that was negate at this point, attacking twice, and that was super easy, that's all you're doing, my boys. There you go. Here we go, my boys. Going first against the best deck, tier one. Actually, one of probably the best going second. Uh, let's see how uh, how we're gonna do it. So let's pick things up. At this point, you know how this combo goes. So uh, we have almost everything because we have the redeploying. We missed the supai. Uh, let's see if we're gonna draw it uh, with the um, uh, with the draw formula synchron. We actually got it. So. We are in a very good spot, but I decided to go with the Stardust Dragon version. Why? Because we know that uh, Varys has access to the Link 2 that can pop thanks to the skill, so we want to have something that negates that. So we have basically Stardust Warrior, a negation of destruction eventually, and Trishula if we need that. So he started with the skill, getting that boy out, that is Summon Rocket Tracer, I went with Formula Synchron, summoning the Stardust Warrior, but then I didn't go into um, Formula Synchron again. I decided I decided to have, actually I did do it, I think, I thought I, I capped Sarah's Dragon, but I didn't. So I went actually straight away into Trishula as well. Maybe I should have waited for the third monster, but still, Banishing 2 was just still a lot of value. But yes, he's not done yet. We still have a Link Negation, a Direct Special Summon Negation with Sarah's Warrior, that, that's why I was chilling. So he's got the quick launch so yes another boy there uh double disruptor to get the rapid trigger um my question was why I didn't use that straight away that was the problem honestly but still it's got three monsters that was that is the rapid trigger of course and at this point we're using supai it's got the rapid trigger to get the uh, the boro load furious dragon on the field and he decided to uh 
um, not to use the effect again, I had the boy, then he decided to pop the status, the, the, the status warrior. Not the greatest of the plays, but still, uh, to draw another card, as you can see, we saw us charge warrior, lovely. At this point, I can just go straight away into the the skill to get my quasar out, because we have uh, the status dragon already in the graveyard. We can speed things up. Quasar is here, attacking twice, going for lethal. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, this time going second against... Uh, we have Yuma, so let's speed things up. I remember this was a game against a negation in a tower, if I'm not wrong. So let's speed things up. In fact, he's going straight away into the rank of magic, so he's got basically Leo. So let's see what we have going second. Um, we got the... we know he has a negation, right? So we have to make him trigger that. So I went with Synchro Chase, I started with the boy because we can handle that being negated. In fact, exactly what happened. Now look at this. We first summoned Makina Fortress, a bond to get a couple of Synchro Boys on the field. We are not done yet because guess what happens now? This is another strategy that you can use with this deck. Uh, Makina Fortress uh, first Jet Synchron to have basically Crystal Wing. Keep in mind you can have Crystal Wing from the Sign of Dragons and then Fortress coming back basically popping itself to pop the uh, Zivu arm. Now that we pop the Zivu arm, this gets the actually weaker and we have also the Citadel back on the field. Look at that. That's how you and your enemy. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. So guys, that was all for this sack. I honestly love it. More than cog worthy. A uh, lot of plays, super nice, feels uh, like you can do a lot of stuff thanks of course to the Makina, uh, to the Makina part, to the Makina cards. I'm gonna try also another version of this, focusing on the other walker, the one that enables level 8 Synchro Summon, so maybe we can go full and we can go further with that. Um, I think it can be pretty nice. Uh, anyway guys, that's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, see you in the next one.